So I just took my clothes out of the wash and then I put them in the dryer. All to notice that we're out of dryer sheets. But luckily, I know a solution. Just dampen a rag with apple cider vinegar and throw her in the dryer. So my clothes just got done drying. And now I'm wearing them, guys. Today I'm gonna commit insurance fraud by starting my apartment on fire so I can pay my taxes. Okay, Google. Start my apartment on fire. I try to wipe my fingerprints off the best I can and then I ditch the walkie-talkie in the trash. Go in to the liquor store, grab something, and then I buy it using a credit card. Then I get a receipt. And that's my alibi. The receipt has the date and the time. And I'm halfway across town. They'll never be able to prove I did this crime. And it's not gonna be weird that I keep this receipt. I always keep my receipts. Just in case some schmuck wants to try and frame me for a crime that I didn't commit. That's just some heavenly wisdom for you. Always keep your receipts. Anyway, when I said, Okay Google, start my apartment on fire. That message was relayed to another walkie talkie on the same channel. And it was next to a Google Home device. But this didn't happen at my apartment. It happened at one of my safe houses. Okay Google. I had the device programmed to do a certain action when that phrase is set. The action was to turn on a fan, and the fan blew oatmeal onto the ground. Then, a robot vacuum sensed a mess, so it went to clean it up, and attached to the vacuum was a cord. The cord then pulled the trigger of a toy gun that pressed play on a VHS player, and inside the VHS player was a tape I made. And nothing was on the tape until 5 hours and 59 minutes and 37 seconds in, when I said, Alexa. Start my apartment on fire. A walkie-talkie I placed next to the TV heard what I said and repeated to another walkie-talkie on the same channel because I had clamped down on the button that you use to talk. And the walkie-talkie that was on the same channel was at another one of my safe houses. Alexa, start my apartment on fire. This turned on a vacuum that sucked up a piece of toilet paper that let dominoes fall to hit the space bar on a keyboard. This took the computer out of sleep mode to turn on a video counting down from 8 hours. And again, there was nothing on the video until the end of the 8 hours, when I came on the screen and said, Hey Siri, call secret phone. This triggered an iPhone next to the computer. Calling secret phone. This is the phone it called, and the phone was at another one of my safe houses. Now, if you look closely, you'll notice, well, you honestly don't even have to look closely at all. You just look. You'd notice that there is a walkie-talkie next to the phone, and the walkie-talkie is clamped down. But what was relayed from the phone? Well, it was the ringtone. Okay, Google, turn on device. And the ringtone was relayed to my apartment. Okay, Google, turn on device. Now, I just want to point out that I'm not saying... Okay, Google. Start my apartment on fire. I'm not saying anything at all. I'm having a robot voice say, turn on the vibes. Now, when my apartment starts on fire, they're going to look at the records of this Google Home device. My voice won't be found. Anyway, the action was that it turned on a blow dryer that hit a... You know what? Just watch. Long story short, a magnifying glass aligned perfectly with the sun, so it would start a fire. Now, imagine my balcony here on fire. <laughs> I was too cheap to pay for the special effects. Just kidding, of course I paid for the special effects. As for me, I'm nowhere near my apartment. I'm on a boat by the beach, and I've been spending the last 14 hours building alibis. Good luck proving I did anything.